All right, people, we are starting. Let's go. Let's do the NeoVim experience. We're going to be rewriting this. Now, the first thing I want to do is I am going to keep this because this just goes to that. Uh, this one just goes to this. And now it's just time to kind of go through and let's let's kind of revamp this whole thing. Now, first off, I kind of feel like I want to change this little bad boy because I have like local development, but I think Packer or, or LazyVim changes that. So I guess the first thing we probably need to think about is the new bundling thing. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think Vundle, I think Packer, and probably Lazy are going to be all the same to me, and I really honestly don't care. Okay, I don't really care about a package manager. People seem to have such strong feelings about package managers. I just don't care. Rewamp using Lazy. Uh, Rewamp using, you know, Lazy isn't the same. Okay, uh, so it's called La Lazy Package uh, Manager. It's called Lazy. Honestly, I don't, I don't effing care. I know you guys are gonna be like, it's so great. It is the same shit for me. It's the same shit. It's always been the same shit. It's gonna continue to be the same shit. I'm gonna just learn something new. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm not gonna use 99% of the features because I just wanted to get the shit on my system. And I'm gonna walk away. Folky's great. I like Folky. Okay, um, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, root, standard, data, lazy. Okay, fantastic. Hopefully this is just like defaulted. Uh, you can't, so lazy. Uh, is annoying. On blue sky, wait, what the hell's blue sky? All right, lazy, should plugins be lazy loaded? I don't care. Version, let's go. Spec. Okay, is boot.dev all Python? No, a lot of Go. It's, it's Go and Python. It's Go and Python. I believe some things are going to change with boot.dev on the languages they're using, okay? That's all I'm going to say. There's going to be some additions coming up. Very, very exciting. So if you want to jump in, boot.dev. By the way, I'm going to be having boot.dev slash prime soon. All right, anyways, okay, so let's start looking at this. What do we got here? What do we got here? Let's start at the tippity top. Let's understand it. Let's start at the tippity top. All right, L Lazy NeoVim is a modern plugin manager for NeoVim. Okay, manages all your NeoVim plugins with a powerful UI, fast startup times, thanks to automatic caching and bytecode compilation of Lua modules. Nice partial clones instead of shallow clones. Okay, automatic lazy loading of uh, Lua modules and lazy loading on events, commands, file types. Okay, cool. Automatically install missing plugins before... Uh, starting up NeoVim, allowing you to start using it right away. Okay, async execution, improved performance. Nice, no need to manually compile plugins. Great, correct sequencing of dependencies. Great, configuring uh, multi, uh, configure, configurable in multiple files. Nice, it generates help tags with the headings in the readme. Okay, fantastic, blah, 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 blah. Requ requires at least that. You know what I probably should do? I should probably start off at NeoVim, huh? And go like this, get, uh, get pull origin master. Yeah, I should should I keep being on master or should we go to nine nine point five? Git check out zero uh here, git fetch all uh I should probably just be on a tag at this point. Git check out v95, right? There we go. Uh make build. Let's see, CD uh nothing is done for build. What what is it? Gosh, I forgot how to what what are the steps again? It's I know it's pseudo make install, but there's something else. It's uh, CD build, uh, C make. Shit, what, what are the commands? I forgot what the commands are. Is it just make install? All right. We're going to have to go here. Uh, oh, hold on. Someone is saying they got this one. Make, C make, build type release. Okay. Okay. That'd be great. Your weenus is showing. I need some weenus. I need I need some strong ween eyes showing. Hold on. CD, build. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to do it here. Let's just see what happens. We'll just do it here. Go, baby, go. Do you use release or rel with deb info? I, I usually just build it and I have no idea. 
Typically, I just do release. I don't really need a ton of information. And if it breaks, I'll just be sad. And I'll go, what dependency am I missing? And then I'll play the game of, what dependencies am I missing? Can I even compile you on my system? And then I'll just get sad, as we all do. We all get sad, and that's a fact. Hold on. There we go. We're back. Hey, hi. All right, fantastic. Uh, NeoVim uh, V, uh, Vim uh, V. Nice. Okay, it looks like we got. It looks like we're a little bit debuggy. We got the debug build on. I thought I just did a dot debug. Is that not how you do a, 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 a passwords F? Debug them. We'll just see what happens. Why not use a nightly build PPA suppository? I don't know, because it's more fun. Vim AAVI. That is my password. I could do that. You could also update Clang. No, see, now we're getting into the stupid territory. I'm not, I refuse. Okay. Do you like the fact that Vim starts up fast enough in debug mode? Just throwing that out there. Uh, C make build type? Yeah, probably. We'll just move on. Who cares? I'm sure there's a release in here once I expand all those. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's look at creating this thing. Can you start the key logger? I do have the key logger. Oh, you want you want the key display. You want this you want the key display. There you go. All right. Cool. Okay, so let's start doing this. Okay, installation. You can add uh let's you can add the following Lua code to your init Lua to bootstrap lazy vim. Okay. That's not what I was going to go with at all. Okay, there we go. So let's just do this. Oh, no. There we go. All right, looks good. All right, so this should start getting us lazy. Okay, next uh, next step is to add lazy NeoVim below the code added to the prior step in init.lua. Okay, so we need to require lazy, and we need to do some setup, some plugins, and some options. Okay, I feel like we can do this. All right, seems pretty nice. All right, lazy. Falky, Falky, oh, my boy, Falky, oh, my boy, Falky, Falky, why would Falky? Okay, cool. I like Falky. All right, so that means we're gonna need we're gonna need to do some things here. Okay, Falky, my boy, Falky. Let's take. All of my Packer plugins and make them Falky plugins. Okay? Falky. Oh, Falky. Oh, my Welcome boy, Falky. Oh, you. my boy. Oh, my boy, Karn. Hey, Prime, I am a dire situation. I'm 23 year old mature student going into CS second year in Canada. I dropped, I, if I drop a year now, I save 25,000 because of my legal status, which will change next year. But I'm worried about job prospects slash internships after one year. I am not going to recommend anything in this situation. Okay, I don't know you, I don't know your situation, I don't know anything about you. You know, real talk, I, I need you to make the decisions about your life because you don't want me making decisions about your life. You know what I mean? It, it will probably end bad. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm just some dude. I'm no less of a dude than you are dude. You know what I mean? We're just dudes doing dude things. But if you take off time, stay active development. Yeah, that's a good point. If you do end up choosing to take off time, don't stop learning. By the way, uh, for everybody, just in case you're wondering, when it comes to this whole uh, boot business that I'm going to be doing, one of the things I would like to take on as part of the boot course is to revamp slash re-prop up their CS Fundamentals track. 
I want to make sure that you get everything you need to know about CS all throughout here, and I'm going to probably do it in C. Okay, we're going to do it the proper way. We're going to go through everything in the most proper fashion. Okay? Why? Because if I'm going to give you a good, if, if you're going to get a good, like, walkthrough of stuff, you should at least do it in a in a real language, right? Like I did, I did for front end masters. I did it in TypeScript because I knew the audience. The audience were people that were going for the front end. So it made perfect sense to do it in TypeScript. I'd never do it in Rust. Rust is a terrible CS language. Rust is the practical application of CS. C is CS. C and CS are like literally intertwined. They are, you, it's, you, it's like it's hard for you to even understand the difference between them because of how close they really are to each other, right? Counter Strike, you got it. It's the exact same thing. Whenever you pick up and start programming in C, some Russian guy gets in yours. No, you're going to you're going to take the you're going to take the pointer and you're going to make it, the memories become what you want them to be by making them. You do static cast. You're like I, I you do static cast or Russia does static cast. I don't do good Russian accent. Okay, I've never done a good one. A bro is diverting. Yeah, I know. I've never done one. Uh, he's right about what he's saying. I am. I am. All right. Anyway, so this looks pretty easy. So it looks like we do a table. And then each item in the table can either be a string to just the GitHub. Or it can be more. So have you seen that Python is trash on Instagram? Yes, dude. I've seen that. And it, that's what I was in my head. That's what I was imagining. I just don't have. I just don't have that microphone for it. Implicit cast, though. So good, though. Anyways. Okay. So here's my packer. So I'm just gonna yank. Uh, I'm just gonna yank all of this. All right, and let's go back here and let's just paste these in. All right. So right now we have packer. We're not gonna use packer anymore. Okay. So we have telescope. Right now, I oh interesting. I'm on this tag. I should probably up. Why am I on that tag? Isn't that some old ass tag right there? That's some old ass tag. Can we agree that is some just some just some old ass tag? I wonder if that has been my problem. All right, there we go. There we go, fantastic. Oh, look at that, is that, is that some Falky? Is that my boy Falky? That's my boy Falky. Falky with his, with my boy Falky. I've been wanting to make a t-shirt that's Tokyo across, it's spelt like Tokyo as in from Rust. We even have some potential designs, so I have the Tokyo from Rust in the color scheme of Tokyo from Falky, and then I'm gonna send Falky a t-shirt. Tokyo. Holy shit, how'd you get so good at, at these? Um, you know, it's shocking. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. Do, okay, what, okay can, I, can I be real here? I'm gonna be real one more time. Have you ever met somebody that played StarCraft and you were like this? You're like, hey man, uh, why aren't you using why why aren't you using keyboard shortcuts? And they go like this. Uh, you know, I just have never I just never really liked doing that. And you'd sit there and go, but why? Like everybody else is getting good Welcome at these Costco. shortcuts. Why aren't you just I love you. Why aren't you just playing StarCraft and just Welcome like no Costco. E means probe? I love you. Right? E means probe. Just Just do that. Or E means pylon. I can't even remember. I actually have to put my hands on the game and do it again, right? I'm pretty sure E means pro. Anyways, you just do the thing. You just start building. What? Why not? Why not just do that? Wait, this isn't Vim ASMR stream? No, it, 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 Aiden, you'll calm down with those bones, okay? It'll come back. It's coming back. And so it's just like when someone says, how did you get so good at, you know, using these keys? It's kind of like, hey, man, I've just been playing StarCraft for like the last 15 years for 40 plus hours a week. I got pretty good at StarCraft. You know what I mean? I kind of got good at StarCraft. I need to do a little cannon rush. That's shift V percent sign. Okay. That's just a quick cannon rush. Sometimes you don't want a cannon rush. Sometimes you want to be a little bit more Costco. precise about it. You hit him with the DAP. You. Get the... F them Welcome out. to Costco. Okay. I love you. You know, I've just been playing StarCraft every day. All right, so let's figure out how this works out. So how do we how do we configure one of these things so I can uh, uh, give it a name, right? 
right? Because right now it's Rose Pine slash Neovim. So I want to give it as, uh, is there an as? Right, so let's let's see uh, let's see this keys. Oh, cool. So, okay, so you're doing a little bit of that. Okay, fun, 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 fun. I don't want to do that, but fun. Lazy config. Okay. Okay, so I could just do this. I could hit him with the config, right? So with this, I could just hit him with the config and just hit him with that rose pine. My guess is that rose pine is just named differently. Name equals the name. Is it really the name? Uh, do you format your code block so you can do better uh, dip and sips? Uh, no. I usually dap, by the way. I don't dip. I don't dip. I dap. All right, let's see. Is there like an ass? Is there a name? F file type? Oh, cool. Lazy load on file type. Oh, that's fun. Wow. All right. Is there not a name? Okay, it's not name. Is there an as? All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Name. A custom name for the plugin used by the local plugin directory uh, to display Welcome the name. The okay, so same thing. You. So I'm going to go like this. Uh, name equals Rose Pine, right? Yeah, name equals Rose Pine. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, thank you, Devilot. Let's go. Again, I want to say thank you to Connor Sparks. Whoever you are, Sparky Sparks. You like new around here. You had a green P with like a little tier three symbol above it, and you dropped like 200 subs, 15,000 bits. Blown away. Data Sherpa, Radius. Thank you. Holy cow. Got my first web dev job five months ago. Started using VS Code Vim around four months ago. Probably not the best idea to learn motions at work. No, I think that's the best time. That's literally how you learn it. You need some level of pressure and you want to stick with it. It's really hard to learn if you have no reason to learn. You're like, I want to learn, and I need to do this for my job. Like, that's a great time to learn because you actually have a reason to remember things. Not Welcome ready to, to try Costco. Neo Vim, Vim yet, uh, but you. thank you. Hey, no problem. How to play StarCraft. Good. Welcome thank you, Samian. I appreciate I you. that, Samian. Let's go, Samian. Baby cake, baby cakes. Thank you. Big Drew. It's super hard to learn something if you don't have, like, a like a, a hard desire. By the way, I don't like the song. Thank you, Devilot, again, for that tier two. Edit. I don't want to listen to this. I don't want to listen to whatever that song was. You know what I mean? Keep applying pressure. You have to. You need to You need to apply pressure. Okay, cool. So it's like the same thing right there. Falky, I, I don't even use trouble. What the hell's trouble? I put that in there and I've never even used it. All right, so what the hell's trouble? Can somebody tell me what trouble is? Can somebody tell me what the hell trouble is? What the hell is trouble? Falky trouble. I think I did use trouble for a moment, but it, I got upset at it. Uh, pretty diagnostic reference, uh, telescope results, quick fix and location list to help you solve all your trouble by coding. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a pretty list for showing diagnostics. Okay. Oh, interesting. But does, it doesn't show it project-wide, right? You can keep the plugins in their config separate files instead of having them all, let's see, and keeping all the plugins in one and their configs in another file. It's just a, some merits. Okay, cool. I, I, I could do that. We could look at that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't do all of them at once. Let's find out. I, it is project-wide. Okay, so let's find out because I'd love to use this. I'd actually love to use this. I would love to use this thing. Okay, opens the list. Cool. Okay, so let's let's check out what this thing does here. All right, I got everything else. Everything else sucks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, let's go like this. Let's go to a knit and let's take out that guy. And let's take out that guy. And let's take out that guy. I don't know why I did it so slow. Okay, cool. So everything else looks correct. So let's go like this. Um, let's go personal and let's go uh, make der uh, trouble. Uh, NPM init y, uh, NPM i uh, uh, type script, uh, TSC init. Is that what you do? Yeah, good enough. Uh, make der source, vim that bad boy. 
uh, index.ts, uh, function, foo, uh, thing, thing, return, uh, thing, foo, there we go. Uh, thing, uh, bar number, there we go. Uh, uh. All right, perfect. There's one problem. Two dot TS, there we go. Uh, what are you called? Uh, yoink. There we go. I should have two of the same problem. You guys see the problem? Should have two of the same problem. Trouble. Look at those, look at them, look at them symbols, baby. Look at them, look at them symbols. All right, so is this a quick fix list? It's not a quick fix list. How do I navigate that list? Uh, holy crap, you're fast. It's called getting, being used to things, man. Uh, quick fix, I want a quick fix. Okay, let's do a quick fix. So it's gonna be, uh, opens the list. I don't know how to navigate those list items. I want the, I want them probably in a quick fix because I already know how to do Proper quick fixing, you know what I mean? So we got uh, trouble toggle quick fix. Okay. Uh, trouble uh, toggle quick fix. Okay, well, that's not it. That's not it at all. Um, why Chinese? I have, no, I have no fonts or any shit installed. So, all right, toggle refresh, manually refresh the list. How do I do that? See, why did toggle trouble not toggle the trouble, trouble, toggle, trouble, toggle? So, hold on. If I just do that, interesting. If I do trouble. Okay, so apparently trouble is now gone. Nothing. Why? Here. Let's go in here and go trouble. See? Okay, so, yeah. See? Do you see what I mean? It only grabs it by the buffers, right? It's not actually doing something underneath the hood. So, I have to, I have, to have something inside the buffer first. So, that's what I meant by project-wide. See, it doesn't have that. But if I go to, what, index? And now that I've opened that up, I get both of them. Okay, good. But if I go trouble uh, toggle, okay, cool. And if I do that again, what about it quick turns fix? Turns your bad feelings into good feelings. Okay, it's quick a fix. And now it's gone. All right, let's try to refresh it by going to all three places. All right. See, now they're all gone. What the hell does that even mean? Hey, thank you, Samian. Samian, you want to uh, you want to lint and load the results. Yeah, I, I want to get all the things. You know what I mean? But that's just the TSLSP. And Rust it always checks the project wide. Does it? Oh yeah, that's probably true. That's fair. That's actually completely fair. You're absolutely right. That probably is just TS. To hey, thank you, Scan uh, Scanicus. I, love you. I don't get it. Eh, I'm sorry, buddy. Hey, thank you. Programming Welcome problems. Let's go. Try developing you. Spring Boot drop down wizard juice app. You need uh, an IDE. Okay, cool. I I. Uh, I don't. Does that help? All right, so let me hit it with the trouble refresh. It seems like once I hit it with that quick fix list, it got broken. You know what I mean? Because right now there's nothing on it. And now that we'll load Welcome up all of Costco. these... I love you. Now they're both there, right? But the moment I hit it with the quick fix list, it gets all effed up. I mean, I still want to use this thing. I want to use it because I like it. Uh, I think trouble toggle will show quick fix items in a trouble pop-up. Oh, I'm trying to do that. I think uh, toggle, let's see. I think you toggled the quick fix, but you have to toggle back to whatever it was. Oh. Oh, I think I understand it. So I can't send trouble to the Oh, there is next. Oh, there's next. Oh, there's next. Is there a trouble next as in just like a just a command I can execute? There's trouble, indent, warning, normal error, location, text, sign, code, file. Okay, so that means I should be able to go like this. Uh, Lua require uh, trouble next. Welcome to Costco. I what the hell is called? Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Dornix Ham. Thank you, everybody. I don't think I called it trouble upon... Um, what are we calling it here? 
requires trouble. So, I mean, it should be tr trouble, right? Lua equals require trouble. Okay, so, yeah, there's next right here. Oh, okay, so I must... Is it next? Oh, cool. It just changed the file on me. Here. There we go. Now look at this. So this one has buzz. So you can only call that. Okay, hold on. Can I call it up here? Oh, interesting, but I'm not traveling there, right? Notice that I'm not traveling to it. Okay, so I'm not traveling. I did say next, but I still have to hit enter to go to that one. See right here. I look that. I'm on. I'm on. Now I'm there. Okay, interesting. Skip groups. Jump true. Ooh, jump true. Okay, so let's try that one. Okay, okay, okay. So the reason why this is pretty cool is right now how I do my standard kind of editing. Or my kind of my kind of my kind of walking is that I do uh, diagnostic jumps. You know what I mean? So I just diagnostic jump, but it only is it within the file. I don't have it so that it. I don't have it so that I go further than that. Happy New Year! Uh, how long? Uh, it took me very little time to master the keyboard. I was already a good typer. Just become a good typer, and mastering a keyboard is just a. It, it's just a an exercise you know what i mean happy new year do you think it's worth learning lua separately for a new of them config i love lua when you go go o camel you never go back i went o camel and i'm fine uh, going back i love o camel don't get me wrong i love the idea oh yeah oh yes yeah. okay so i want that so i want to i'm going to remap i think that's the way so i'm going to remap um, this to trouble. I like this. I actually like this. This actually is pretty freaking awesome. Thank you, everybody. By the way, thank you for the hype train. This is awesome. You guys have been way too kind today. All right, I'm going to go pee pee, but this is good. Uh, do you have tiny hands? Beast Co, I do. Thank you for noticing. All right, hey. Hey. I clean the mic about once a month. Sorry, it's just life. It's disgusting, huh? The problem is, is I can't clean the mic itself. I don't know how to clean that. I know. So I take this little pop filter, and I'm going to throw it in the dishwasher today. But I don't know how to clean the mic itself. Once a month, you liar? No. That's about it's about about that. It turns on your bad. Hey, thank you, Sam. I appreciate that. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, someone must have subscribed while I was gone. Yeah, a lint roller. Uh, a Kronos. Thank you. It's almost one year. We'll appreciate that. Let's go. Compressed air. I do have some compressed air. It didn't do anything. It did shit. It did nothing. Don't make me I, don't make me huff it. <laughs> Craigasm. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate the subs. Let's go. Thank you, everybody. Hey, thoughts on the best laptops. I really like um It's worse now. It probably is. That noise gate is great. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, switch to Neo Vim for, uh, from Emacs. Uh try uh this thing to generate uh my config. Horrible mess. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I typically like to do my own config. Why do you have compressed air at your desk? Because I have electronics that need compressed air. Oh, really, my wife's actually the nice one. That's why. Trouble workspace diagnostics will populate it uh, from not open buffers? Really? I doubt that it can do that. Um... Welcome to Costco. I love you. Give me the meat. 
and give it to me raw. Yeah, I don't think it can do that. Not with TypeScript. Remember, TypeScript doesn't have a build system. You know what I mean? So it doesn't know what files to include and not include. As far as I can tell. Like, I haven't told TypeScript how to build. And so I don't think TS Server just starts building things. I think it's like confused as what, like I have to tell it how to live its life and then it does it. You know what I mean? It should work in a Rust project. You're probably right. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Karl Marx. I'm going to swear I'm going to punch you in the face. Uh, Nurson, thank you very much for that. And Aussie Boy, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, so if I go like that, uh, let's go like this. Um, let's go uh, cargo init. Uh, by the way, thank you, Cargo, for assuming my package manager. Typical Rust Foundation. Um, all right, let's go in here and let's go to main RS and let's go into to RS and let's have a uh, struct foo and let's have foo have pub bar, which is a uh, I32 and pub this thing and awesome and go back to main and mod two, fantastic, bam, 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 and go like this, let two equals two. Uh, too new. Yeah, let's do that. Too new. Oh, yeah. Too new. You're, am I not able? Wait. It, was, it wasn't called new. It was called uh, thing. Is it not called thing? What is it called? What are you called? Foo. <laughs> uh, yes, there you go. All right, so new doesn't exist. Fantastic. Uh, 3.rs, there we go. Paste that in, uh, pub function, foo, bam, 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 bam. Oh, I forgot on that side. All these languages are just swirling around in my little head right now. Yep, uh, nope, wrong one. Go to three, yeah, let's go to three. Failed to do foo? Well, let's get foo right here. Yeah, let's actually leave you as failed to get foo. The other one's doing good, so now let's go like this. Let's quit, let's vimid this back up, and let's go trouble. It could be because Rust is slow. Like, to be completely fair, Rust is slow. Okay. Uh, but my guess is, I, I think I know why this... Welcome to Costco. I love you. I think I know why this is. I think this makes perfect sense... Because it relies on your LSP, right? And since it relies on your LSP, uh, got to get Rust Analyzer started. Yeah, exactly. It re relies on your LSP. So I got to get the Rust Analyzer started. So um, I'm not sure how to start the Rust Analyzer other than doing this because I have no thing. So now that this thing is started, so now I should be able to go workspace diagnostic. Nice. Look at that. So got it both in main and three. Okay. Superior language for a superior editing experience. Can we, can, can we, get, can, we get, can we be real here for a second? Fantastic. Okay. Cool. Cool. I like trouble. I'm going to use trouble. I'm going to use trouble. I like trouble. We're going to do that. Okay. Uh, K trace. Work harder, comrade. <laughs> Falky. Oh, Falky. I love Falky. Oh, that's sweet, sweet Falky. Oh, that's sweet, sweet Falky. All right. Um, all right. So we're going to keep trouble. I got to figure out some icons, though. We'll figure out all that other crap. Uh, all right. Uh, there we go. Welcome all to right. Costco. I love you. I love you. Hey, I love you, too. Hey, I love you, too. Hey, I love you, too. All right, what do we got? We got, um, I assume this is config now. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate that super milch. Let's go. Anyone remember the Trouble board game? I do. I like Trouble. Do you love me more than them? Yes, Beast Co. I do. I do. Use ops instead of config if you're not. Uh, yes, suck it, chat. You sh yeah, suck that chat. Suck that chat. 
All right, so with this with this kind of in mind, I would like to um I like to update every time I update stuff, I like to make sure a tree sitter is updating, but do I need to do it with sync? I'm not sure if I need to do it with sync anymore. All right? Let's not do it with sync. And I would like to be able to I would like to probably be able to spread these out. Can we all agree that I should I I I'd want to kind of spread these bad boys out, I guess? Yeah, let's spread these bad boys up. Auto update equals true. Is that what it is? Build equals TS update. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we can go uh, build equals uh, TS update. Okay, I like that. Is that a command? Is that a command for Falky? Is that a command for Falky? Okay. Build is executed when the plugin is installed or updated. Before running build, a plugin is first loaded. If it's a string, it will be ran as a shell command. When prefixed with a colon, it is ran as a NeoVim command. You can also specify uh, a list to execute multiple build commands. Some plugins provide their own build.lua, which is automatically used by Lazy. So no need to specify a build step for those plugins. Nice. Noise. Okay, I like it. Okay, so now how do we do lazy with multiple files? Do I just call setup every single time? Can I just call can I, can I just call setup many many times? Is setup like something that I have to do once or can I do it a bunch? You do it once. Okay, cuz I want to be able to do it on a per Yeah, how are people structuring? There you go. All right, structuring your plugin. Some users may want to be able to split their plugin specs in multiple files instead of passing a spec table to set up. You can use Lua module. Uh, the specs from a Lua module and any top-level sub-module will be merged together in the final spec, so it is not needed to add require calls to your main plugin file. Okay, how does that work? Kind of a weird-sounding song. Okay, simple to add new plugin specs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we have our init right here, and it does setup plugins. Okay. Then we do config, uh, config neovim lua slash you. plugins. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Let me try something. Let me try something. Let me let me let me let me let me try something. So I'm going to go like this. All right, so let's go like this. I'm going to go require a lazy setup, and then I'm going to go like this, the primogen dot lazy lazy. I just want to see if this works. Uh, There we go. Cool. Oh, no. Can't handle it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I understand it. Hey, Prime, have you thought about Prime, reacting to a video of a colleague of yours, a Randall a of a Kutnick? Yours. The talk is called Randall Rethinking Kutnick. the Developer Career the Path. It should help younger folks, folks seeking advice. It should um, help younger folks seeking advice. Thanks. I'm not going to do anything. Involving my coworkers. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I appreciate the thousand biddies. Does that make sense again? You know why? Let's just say happenstance. He says something, and I strongly disagree with that. And I go, that just ain't right. This is bad advice. 
What happened if Randall takes that personally? <laughs> Not that I don't even know who Randall is. I, I, I'm sure he doesn't make that face or that sound, but let's just pretend he did. Then he complains. This prime guy is toxic. Right? I don't know anything about Randall. I'm sure he's a great guy and he would not do any of this. But that kind of shit does happen. Right? I don't want anything. I don't want any of that. Gatekeeping crime. I love gatekeeping. I love gatekeeping. All right, uh, let's get back into this because uh, honestly, it's this is it's just it's it's just actually too oh gosh, it's it's actually just too crazy. Welcome to Costco. Uh, okay, let's go to lazy lazy. There we go. Okay, cool. So, hold on. Where where was that thing? No, nope, that's Twitter. Let's see, is this, let's see, that's Lazy Vam. What is this one? Structuring your project. Let's structure our project. It's very difficult to excel at something you don't love. Absolutely. 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 It's very, very hard. I would argue that if you spend 30 hours debugging something, you've wasted 20 of those hours. I, I would say that you just can't make any statements like that without knowing what happened. Can I, can I, can I throw you something? If you had to debug for 30 hours, I guarantee you probably learned something. That unless if you did it for 30 hours, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have known, right? Like sometimes, sometimes you got to do really slow ass debugging to discover better and a more efficient ways for you, just you yourself to debug. And if your answer was go and talk to somebody else, I just think you're fundamentally wrong. Okay. That can't always be the answer. Developing good debugging techniques is really, really good. Yeah. You learned a lot about the program. You probably are a lot better at the program. You know, you can always do better, right? We, I get it. All right. All right, so let's see this. To import multiple modules from plugins, uh, add additional specs for each import. Okay. Specs. Lazy import. I'm a little bit confused by this. Does that mean I have to go through and name each one that I want to import? So I can just do this, right? I can just do this thing right here. And then this will be my... But this is no different than me just putting it all in one place. I just have it all in a new file. I'm a little bit confused about... Does anyone have a gist? That makes a little bit more sense. Look at the third bullet point in structuring. Okay, 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 okay. Structuring your project. Okay, third bullet point. Spec changes will automatically be reloaded when updated. So lazy UI will always show up to date. Okay, example. Config this one. Okay, plugins. Okay, we do this one. This file is optional. Return this one. Okay, cool. Any Lua file in plugin star will automatically be merged. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's because it did this. So just to make sure I understand this. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, crash. I shouldn't. All right, so that means what you're saying is this. Is I, I got to go return this, right? I think that's the way to do it. Oh, gosh. So that means if I go like this, lazy, lazy, dot, uh, lazy, la lazy, lazy, rename this one init Lua. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then go to Lua and go in here and go print hello uh, from to. Wow. Whoa. Uh, 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 I can't type. I, why, you, why can't I type? Why can't I type? Um, actually, let's go back here and go return that thing. And uh, let's go into here and go hello from a knit. All right. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, so typically what I do, typically whenever I do things, I, I, I usually use Vim to load all my stuff. Does that make sense? So normally I use the after folder 
to run any scripts after I've done the installation. So in my head, I always think about it like this. Vim init, Vim plugin, things with Vim, Vim after. Does that make sense? You don't, okay, yeah, with lazy, you don't use after. Okay, okay. The uh, question becomes, in which order are they executed? Yeah, so I, I assume... Welcome hey, thank you, Costco. Once a Legend. I assume... I, I assume there's something to this that... Uh, by the way, Once a Legend, thank Welcome you. I assume that has to do with dependencies. I love you. When you specify your dependencies, it correctly sorts those, maybe? Uh, I bet you the config... Right, you know how you have a config command? Config command gets executed probably after all that. It would be my guess. I love tech. I have loved tech longer than you. I started when I was five. It was almost obsession addiction for me, and I have still faced burnout and had to step back and reevaluate many times. Love doesn't solve everything. Fair. That's fair. I, I agree with that. Uh, sometimes external circumstances. You know, one of the hardest times I can remember personally having is due to a completely orthogonal personal matter that has nothing to do with tech, and it, it, it really, really made life hard for a while. Right. Yeah, I saw that. It has priority, right? Loved it longer. Loved it harder. Have you ever thought about that one? Tough guy. Um, imagine the same burnout without love. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I would say that burnout is almost inevitable. The degree in which you love the thing probably dictates your ability to come back. Is that fair? Like, I, I think burnout is, is probably inevitable for all people. Because you, you just got to, you know. Love more more burnout too, though? I, I don't know if that's true. I, I'm not sure if that's true. I can't say that. But for me, the love of something pulls me back in. You know what I mean? Same thing can happen in relationships. I don't know about that either. Relationships are also very, very different. I, I can't say that is true. 2023 was character development. 2024 is F at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, burnout can happen for all sorts of reasons. Your mom your mom dies. You, you know, when my mom dies, you want to guess who's probably going to get burnout? This guy. I'm probably going to hate programming for a half a year because of it. Obsession and love are very, very difficult to separate. Right? I love my mom. She is she is one of the central people in my life. And so yeah, if my wife were to get ill, like shit, yeah, I'd be wrecked. And you know, one of my kids got hurt. <sighs> Notice I can't even say die. I like I could I can't I can't even fathom it, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, and that's that's really your that I would say that's your manager's fault. Your manager should have came in there and helped you out on Welcome that one. To Costco. Thank you, Pasta Monster. I love you. Anyways, okay, so this is good. We now know this, so I actually feel better about that. Okay, so this is good. I'm not sure what all those errors are. I don't know what all those errors are. Seems like we got a lot of stuff going wrong. So let's vim this back up, baby. Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but I'm gonna go here. Let's let's go. Um, Welcome let's go to into Lazy Costco. Lazy. I love so I'm gonna just rename this thing Lazy, right? We're gonna just rename this thing Lazy. Um, let's. I'm gonna call this thing uh, Lazy Init. I like that. Lazy Init. Sorry, I don't have any plugins. Lazy Init, and we're just gonna go to. Prime Gen Lazy. Fair? Cool. So now, theoretically, in Lazy, I can have... Um, I can get all sorts of cool stuff in here, right? I should be able to... Ooh, I like this song a lot. Theoretically, I should have Color Scheme. So I can do all my Color Scheme stuff in here, right? Now, this is the question I have, I guess, is what, what, do, what do these files look like? I don't know what these files look like, and I think that's the hard part. The, the hard part I have, which is, can I call setup? 
See, what, what goes in these files? Can I call setup? Why can't I call setup? Oh, it's just plug and spec. Oh, let's go. Okay. Like that. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Dude, I'm such a dweeb. <laughs> cool, 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 bro. Uh, 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 bro. So many calls. All right, shut up. Uh, okay. So let's go to Rose Pine. Let's go back to uh, this one, and let's go right there. All right, good. And let's grab Rose Pine. Uh, what is it? It's that one? No, it's that one. No, that's that one, right? All right, so Rose Pine, name, 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 name. Okay. Yeah? Fuck. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff still breaking. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like it. I like this. I Okay, I like it. Yeah, 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 we got the color schemes. We got this thing. I don't think I need an init, right? I guess a init can contain my, like, <sighs> plenary, uh, like, my basics. Does that make sense? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I want sets back. Okay. All right, good. Good. I can at least do some of these things. We can we can kind of move. I feel like this guy's doctor disrespect of programming. I don't know why. It could be the mustache. I've kind of let this thing kind of go unshaven. You know what I mean? We kind of got these things unshaven. All right, so lazy init's looking good. Primogen lazy. Let's go. This is just that crap you have to do at the tippity top of the file to get everything done. Yeah, 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 Let's add a one right there, and let's go right. Let's go into lazy init. I'm going to want plenary. Plenary. Telescope I don't have any custom conf uh, configs for. So let's go in here. There we go. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, and let's go back here. Yeah, let's see. Trouble. We don't really need much for trouble... Tree sitter, I don't really need anything. The problem is I don't want to, like, what I don't want to do is I don't want to create, like, this massive split out a bunch of files, right? Anything that just can require a small amount of effort, I feel like I'd, I'd rather go like that. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does, does that make sense? Uh, each one will need its own table, if I remember correctly. Why does he seem to be typing in English? Uh, subs on J uh, Japanese movie. Oh, uh, that's because my camera is slightly slower. You could add plenary inside a dependencies table. Uh, well, I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna have plenary as like the tippity top. Does that mean if I go uh, priority equals one thousand? Right. I don't really care about it doing a dependencies table. I, I It's the only thing that all my projects rely on. Yeah, Harpoon, yes, I'm going to be doing that. You can do dependencies equal. Okay, so you can do dependencies. Interesting. So I can do, um, I think this one requires. So this one requires uh, NVIM, Lua. Can I go like this?
and then go. That'd be so cool if I can do that. I'm hoping I can do that. Can we do that? Can we do that? I hope we can do that, because that would be way cooler. On oh, these, this crap is. I, I don't have I don't have Lua formatting on here. I do want to get Lua format because I want to be able to go leader F and have it call style Lua. You know what I mean? All right. Ooh, actually, you know what I want? I want something different. Go back here for a second. Go back here for a second. Okay, I don't know why I like this song so much. I just do. What up? Comos, trace comos. I just assumed that it would work eventually. Missing comma, 17. Anyways, okay. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Okay. I don't think I want a color. I don't think I want a uh, individual color. Does that make sense? I think I'm just going to have my color schemes up here. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, Packer stuff's going to go eventually. Don't worry about that. We're trying to get through this stuff, okay, people? You guys are focused on the wrong answers again. Okay, so color scheme out. And it out. Okay, so there you go. So this would be just my basics in here, right? Um... I'm going to throw back in this guy, right? We don't need this one. Uh, we don't need this one. Tree Sitter Playground doesn't exist anymore. So now we have this whole series of personal plugins. You know what I mean? See, like, undo tree, I don't need, like, these don't even need configuration. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, Oh, why, oh, why do that? Up, oh, um. All right, so this is, so this is what I had for LSP zero. So this, we're going to have to figure out. We're going to have to figure out. Um, again. Just more, uh, just more tiny ones, right? There we go. Said hi, color scheme priority. You're high. I discovered Lazy Vim today. It's so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing Lazy Vim right now. If you like it, go for it. It's really about you liking it. Latest version of LSP zero is pretty neat. I think I want to just do LSP. Hot reloads nice for lazy. I'm happy about hot reload. There's Copilot. Yeah, I like Copilot. I use Copilot all the time. Uh, lazy Vim distribution. I don't want a lazy Vim distribution. I like Falky. I don't like his shortcuts. Fighting one-eyed Kirby. Hell yeah, you know that was. All right. Um, okay, this all looks good. These are like my base set of plugins. The only ones I'm missing now are my personal plugins. Right? So I'm going to have... Uh, so theoretically, I should be able to go like this. Local plugins. And I should be able to go like this. Uh, Harpoon. Uh, I just assume this is going to work. Let 
Let's just see if this return. Let's just see if this works. Oh yeah, there's no map. Um, actually, I guess yeah. That's just. There's nothing else I need in here, huh? Oh, there is. I have to. I have to now configure. I now have to configure. See, look at this. Clone failed. Okay, so I need to be. I need to be able to do like some sort of local version, right? Don't use it. Uh, so, so how do I do a local local version? There's a dev flag for local. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, dev option. Okay, nice. Uh, dev options and patterns for using local. Uh, local is the word local. Dir. Um, a directory pointing to a local plugin. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's go. There's we're we're going so hard here. Um, oh crap. Um, there we go. So I, I I guess I'd go like this. Harpoon and then go dir equals. Give it to me. Right. Nice formatting. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. We got that. Okay, Brian, I suggest you look at many. It has great bits and bops, uh, which can make it easily get you set up in one. I'm not sure what you're asking me to do. I don't know what many is. There's, I'm not really sure what any of that even means, to tell you the, the, the truth. Look at that dump truck. NeoVim Tree makes everything easier. What's NeoVim Tree? Try Copilot. I do use Copilot. I use Copilot frequently. Mini is a... <laughs> I know Mini is a... T uh... I swear, sometimes I just want to slap somebody around. You should try Mini. You didn't tell me what Mini is. You need to tell me what it is. It's a plugin. Neovim's a fork. Uh, Neovim is a Vim fork, by the way. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't use file managers. Okay, I don't need one. Whenever I need to do anything on the file, I just use the. I just use NetRW. And until NeoVim just has a new default plugin file tree, I'm just going to use that. And then once NeoVim has their own, I'm just going to use NeoVim's. Okay, I don't need to do anything. Like, what do, you, what do you guys keep doing? Why do you guys keep needing file trees? What are you guys doing? Actually, NetRW is a plugin. It's true. If you do uh, dash u none... It will actually not load. I I don't I don't I honestly don't care. Is it a file tree? If it is a file tree, I virtually don't use it. I use telescope and harpoon, and that's it. I am gonna just ban somebody, dude. File explore, dude. It's fuck, guys. Guys, Welcome how to often are you doing that? I love you. How often are you doing this? Welcome to Costco. I love you. You just had fancy, you just had, like, who makes seven files at once? Like, I get that some people like this and it's probably kind of fun. Yeah, you can... web developers no they're using some sort of like react create app uh lyry thank you very much i appreciate that and sd marvin cool cool um thank you 
thank you for all of your nice all of your nice words. Okay, so we're going to go through here and I'm going to move each one of these into their own. So anything that has their own remaps, I guess I do have a little bit of remap. Oh yeah, look at some of these remaps. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're going to do something good in here. I don't even use these ones. I don't even use these ones. I should use them more often. Leader P. Damn, look at that. I didn't even know I, I, I didn't even know I had this. Happy about this. Didn't you make a video about them? I did. I forget about things. I like this. Okay, well, hey, this is a good... I like where this is at, but I got to go play with my kids. We got to go do stuff, so I got to let you guys go. This has been entirely too long of a stream. Appreciate everybody. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Let's go. Yeah, I use a file tree if, I, if I'm in a new project. I haven't raided Team Vash in a long time. Let's raid Vash. Vash time. Whoopsie daisies. I'm not even following. I am now following. I'm a jerk. Anyways, uh, Vash the Stampede. Yeah, they're ma uh, making games. She's making games. She has somebody else. I believe it's a team of two. I believe there's two people. Meigs and Vash. Yeah, our two-person coding team. Yeah, I was right on that one. We are building the greatest and most ambitious massively multiplayer game of all time. I've never actually seen game on their stream. <gasps> it's like V. Vaporware? No, nah, I'm sure it's great. Making a, an MMO with two people? Damn, that sounds rough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's why they called it the most ambitious. She didn't say that it was it was moderately accomplishable. <laughs> These dudes be streaming for two years and there's no games. I haven't I haven't I haven't uh, seen any of their stuff. I'm sure they have things. I saw my first snow when I was two people building an M uh, at least four at least four people. I've never seen the game either. Uh, I don't know. Let it let them build. It's a ruse. I don't think it's a ruse. That sounds too difficult to make it a ruse because I've seen her research a bunch of really hardcore game stuff. So I know it's not a ruse. They're they're gaming. They're making games. Deuces. All right, you guys. Hey, sit down and shut up. I like you guys. All of you guys. Adam, I recognize I recognize your photo, Adam. From Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. Holy moly. Uh, hi so, uh, hope you guys have a good day. The Primogen? Oh my god. Hey. Uh, this is approximately correct. Bye. Bye, everybody. Appreciate y'all.